Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operas 2 featuring the G-Line Standard Armor, or what a tangled weave this unit is, in that it comes from the G-Line 7th unit for the Gundams, and a FSWS, I think I got it right, system that was cancelled and redone and on and on and on. This unit is effectively a modular unit that can wield various different equipment and is considered pretty decent at what it does. Though there's very few of them made and it is quite the tangle of uh, lore to uh, completely comprehend. But in this case, it's a 400 cost, ground and space capable general with a ballistic and beam resistance of 14, the plus ones from the enhancement, a melee resistance of 17, a range strength of 20, a melee strength of 24, a movement speed of a fairly decent at this cost, 125, and a thrust gauge of 60. For parts, we have close range of 11, medium of 14, and long range of 6. This is a close to medium range suit quite interesting we have the short beam rifle it's heat based and uh well it can be focused and that's not too bad it's, i think it does stagger uh oh it lacks focus fire sorry i got it mixed up but it does stagger with the shot then we have of course beam saber enhanced for wiffle bad action then we got the head-mounted Vulcan late model. Eh, it, it works well, but eh. And then we got probably the main feature of the unit, the Gatlin Smasher, which is effectively, um, super Vulcans. <laughs> it's quite good at throwing out some damage, though I wouldn't rely on it too much. It's really good against staggered targets, or when you're trying to uh, help build up stagger on someone when your beam rifle isn't up. I would not stand in the open or give people a chance to shoot you because when you stop to fire it, you are a perfect target. Then we have the G-Line Shield, which is a large shield. For skills, we have Leg Shock Absorber Level 2, Emergency Evasion System, High Spec and back level two, high performance balancer, melee combo controller, and shield tackle. This unit is a pretty decent unit overall. It is a very capable mid-range general, and it can be quite annoying when teamed up with some of the more aggressive units out there. It's a magnificent follow-up to a raid, and it's not bad as a defense unit for a support. In general, this is a very capable unit that can dish out some pain. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the video everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day and uh, I'll admit it's been a little while since I've used the G-Line standard armor. So I'm a little rusty at it, but I do try to do a couple things. I tried to keep mobile because I've seen too many people who just kind of anchor themselves when they're using the, uh, the uh, shoulder mounted weaponry. So I wasn't quite sure where I should push so I was following over there but I decided you know, to cut into the metal. And I did that for a few reasons. Um, I wanted to use the cover and I wasn't sure what I was up against. So we saw a knocked over there and we're going to pepper him a little bit with the range, throw in some beam shots, and then go over to the Vulcans, switch over to Saber, catch him with that, but he's going to get us with the heavy stagger. And uh, we're going to just push a little bit over, come in, drop that in, and help finish him off real quick. So I'm going to get up onto the top. I'm going to decide instead of just uh, standing up here, I'm going to move around, hop him with that, catch him with that, and that. It was more important to knock him down than to worry about if I hit number one and I'm going to get knocked down myself. By something. I don't know what, but it was something. So I see our uh, Dom Tropen friend, so I'm going to fire a bit into him. Take a shot from downtown, I assume. And we're going to come and help dogpile him a little bit. I do feel kind of bad. Um, 
I'm going to take a shot at the uh, support over there, but miss. Fire into uh, the darkness and uh, get a little bit of damage going. And we're going to get... Uh, Exchange a little bit of fire with the Tropen, take him out real quick, and then move over here, pop around into the Noct. And we're going to try to do a little bit of garden on that area. Mostly I just wanted to slow him down so they could finish the Noct off real quick. Uh, I'm going to push over, wait for it, fire, and then let our guys work him over. We'll fire a little bit around that corner just to hold them back. And we'll notice that E's been taken and the guy is back here. Fire! Kill the pilot. Sorry, buddy. And we'll go ahead and stack a little bit of damage. This unit's not exactly a, um, a melee team, you might say. And we're just going to use the uh, shoulder-mounted weapon to uh, destroy the suit. Then switch over to here and see what our team's doing. Um... It looks like two of them decided that they were going to overcommit as we fire into the that Yogu's uh, <laughs> shield. Catch him with that shot somehow, knock him down. And we're going to come over and try to help with the knock. Um, catch him with those, knock him down, knock our guy down. Go ahead and get some more damage built up on those two guys. And, uh, well, unfortunately we are going to be caught in the middle of four people and die. So we're going to spawn in at E, watch a gigantic explosion, see a guy behind us, and then play the turn around game. And it's the Gelgood. Gelgood's nice and aggressive. Unfortunately, his team is not as aggressive as him. We're going to push up, see a Zaku 1, and um, catch him with a down strike. And he's gone. And E's captured me again. <laughs> oh my. So Dom Tropin's up. Unfortunately, this guy has the worst luck, and he's going to get attacked by the group and torn up pretty quickly, but, you know, that's not a good situation to be in. So we're going to fire down, try to get a little bit of that build up on the, uh, the Yogug. And we're going to see a guy over here. So there's three there, so I decided to come over and help. The knock is going to push away. I'm not going to follow him because it just seems dumb. And we're going to play a little bit of back and forth as he tries to hit me with knives. Unfortunately, I'm going to be able to dodge. I won't counter and give him that. Shazam! I'm not dead yet, so we'll get a little bit more damage built up on him. I'm starting to get a little nervous about my team as I try to put my shield in the way. Dodge out and then catch him with that shot. And then, bam, down. And there's the uh, the Gelgud. We're gonna uh, dodge out of that. Fire into him. Switch over to our head Vulcans to uh, try to drive him away. Catch him with the beam. Finish him off with the Vulcan there. Switch over to the. I never get the Gatlin Smasher's name right. And we're gonna exchange a little bit of fire with the uh, Zaku too, because he just it does not got the ability to outdo me in range combat, really. Um, and I'm just going to pop him a few times. Use those uh, shoulder mounted weapons to finish him off. And we're close to death. Yeah, always good situation to be in. Ah, there's the knocked. Getting kicked in the face. Oh, and I see the enemy over there. Catch the Gilgu in the foot. I'm going to try to play the delay game here. Um, it's kind of a situation of how you're going to go out, and sometimes you just got to pick the aggressive. So there's our second death. So we're going to spawn in at A, under two minutes here. And we're going to try to help our team push, fire into the darkness, and try to finish off that Gale Goog real quick. We're going to use our smashers on the Don Tropen, come in, knock him down. Let our uh, raid give him a bad day. And then we're going to push over here. We're going to give the Zaku one a, another bad time. And we're going to do a little bit of uh, fighting off with the uh, Zaku two heavy arms. 
I forget the exact name of it. We're going to come in, push the Zaku one, and just push to finish him off real quick. Get rid of him, then come back around. Not get smashed. I thought he was going to charge into me, so I held back. We're going to clash a little bit. Etch and Cheddar with a charge. Switch over to the beam. Not be able to get a shot directly on him. Catch him there. I'm out of thrust. And we're just going to go ahead and push a little bit into him. And we're going to keep clashing. We're going to get him with that charge. Then... Oh! <laughs> He doesn't have much left at this point. Uh, he did a valiant fight, though. I give him that. So he's almost finished. We decide to come over here and try to help finish these guys out. Go ahead and get the Zaku 1. Then we're going to turn our attention over here, and the game's over. So pretty active overall and a bit spastic I'd say the other team was a little too uh, focused on E as we get our pose three board positions and first place thanks for joining me bye bye